Hey, what's up, guys? This is Juan Corredor from Engineering Room and Services, and today I brought you another video. We have here a, let me be sure, this is a, a 1707 water damage, no power. Okay? So I got this one from the store, and they told me that the computer uh, got uh, to them because it didn't have um, a customer put some water in it. And then computer spill some water in it, and now the computer's not powering on. So the first thing we know we have to do is let's check our voltage. Okay, so let's check how much volt do we have. What? Okay, we had 499 at 0.0, .0 amps. Okay, that's what we have. Why? We don't know. Now on this board, okay, it, it wasn't connected. 499.05. Let's check why. Okay, so let's check our visual inspection. So he told me one of the bo one of the sides got a liquid spill, the water. So I'm going to check first the sides, and then we will test whatever we need to test, okay? So on this side, everything looks cool on this side. And then the other one, okay. Ooh. We can see this, some signs of water. I think he, al he already did a cleaning. You can see it, right? Look. Over here. Most than nothing, look. Okay. Some water, but nothing major. Let's check this side. The other side, everything looks good. And in general, the board looks good, right? Yeah, looks very clean. No big problem, no big deal with this one. So probably based on our experience, okay. Based on our experience, could be a CD3215. There's some sign of water over here. Could be or one of our CD3215. Or any other thing. So we have the visual inspection. And still, we couldn't find anything so let's test our guys so we have let me grab the the model 928 is similar to 2a1 okay view Is that? No. There you go, like this. Okay. So we are here. And we have UB300. UB300, UB400. Right? Okay, I'm recording. Yes, I am. Let me move this one a little bit better. There you go. So we have UB300, UB400 now. It's probably one of these two guys is damaged or something is, they're not getting something. So we know the first line we need is PP3V3, PP3V3, 3 hot. And from PP3V3, 3 hot, they're gonna create a line and then at the end, blah, 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 we're gonna get PP20 volt. 
Right now we're talking about these guys, okay? So let's check PP3V3 hot. Let's go step by step. How much is it's gonna be? Okay, 3.3 volts, 3.41 here, 3.41 here, right? Yes, so both are good. Now let's see if we're getting the 20 volt. I'm no, I'm, we're not. It's five volts. We know that. That's what the USB tester is telling me. Okay. Now let's see my QB 300 is receiving my 20 volts 0.5. I'm sure it's not, but I want to test it. Come on. There's nothing wrong with test. Nope, okay. So one of these two guys is bad. How we're gonna know? We can test the LDOs. That's what I've been hearing all the time, testing the LBOs. But I've been testing it before and I had a couple situation with one was bad. Okay. One is bad and it's still LDOs were present. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make it very simple. I'm gonna reflow both CD3215. And let's see what's gonna happen after that. Let's start with one. Let's see how everything goes. Yesterday, I had one similar case, and I did uh, I did test all the LDOs in, in both CD3215, what's working? And then I did, uh, I just reflowed them, and, and I got one, and I got them working after that. So imagine that water goes inside of the computer, that you are the IC, and then you have some water going inside you. Uh, is going to make contact between things or between connection or path rails that they should be not be they should not be in contact and then what's going to happen your computer won't work you won't have the 20 volts and you won't be charging so with the flux and the reflow what you can be is removing all the crap inside. Let me see if there's any change. No, same. No change at all. 499, you can see it? No, I don't think you can see it. 499, 499 oh, now went off. Now resetting, maybe it was too hot. There you go, 19.3. So that was the reason, that was the guy. And now it's consuming 0 0.23 amps or 21. Why after I finished, it was still, at five, it was too hot, okay? And then it went off, it reset by itself, and now we have the 20 volt. Of course, I have to do ultrasonic, I had to test it. Probably I'm gonna replace it. But I'm not sure it, it is him. There you go, 19.3. I'm gonna reflow the other one anyways, because it is, we know there was water damage there. And then we're gonna test the board. We're gonna test the, the computer to see if it's turning on. This not happen all the time. Sometimes you reflow and it still fell. I would say that's the 
85% of the time. There you go. Okay. Let's test the computer. I will do a quick test. Let me remove this. Give me the T5. T5, there you go. No, I need T4, my bad. Again, this is not happening anymore. I mean, not happening all the time. You know, guys, my bad English. Uh, not happening all the time, but it's very important for you guys to understand what you need to go there, what you need to test, and why you are reflowing it. Just don't go like crazy, like reflowing everything. There's a reason why I'm not doing that. I'm going to explain you in a second why. Let me be sure that all's good. I'm going to explain what just happened. Again, I have to do ultrasonic. I have to remove all the dirty under that is under the ICs. The CD 3215. Okay. Go here so we can see it. No, it's not. Okay, let me see. 499, 8.34, 19.3. I have 0 0.08 amps, 9 amps, 26. Here we go. Let's see it. Let's check. Let's wait. Come on, show me, show me. There you go. That's very bad. So, there you go, guys. Why so important? I'm going to explain you why. Now, I'm going to show you. My computer's connected. And then you can see 20 volts, 19.2. My fan is moving. Okay. So, of course, I need to test it, be sure that it is charging in the right way and everything is going good. So what's happening? We have water liquid spill over this area. Okay, probably some water went inside, under, I mean, on the UB300, because this is the, the first uh, that I attack and it worked. I reflow this one, UB300. So everything was getting in PP3 V3. However, I wasn't getting the 20 volt. Okay, so UB300 wasn't talking back to the to the charger about hey, I need 20 volt. It was quiet. And when it's not talking to the charger about hey, I, this is a computer I need 20 volt, the charger won't send you 20 volt. It will send you the minimum is five volts. Okay, so what I did, I check that my PP3 V3 hotline, this one. This is, that's the minimum, that's the first line that you, that this guy needs. Okay, so I was getting that in, in voltage. And so it was there. And of course my PP20V USB-C TAV bus, 20 volts line was 5.1. That's what this guy test. Right, what I did, I just put flux, reflow it, and now I'm getting one more time, let's test it. And let's check, let's check is there you go, 19.3. There you go. And my fans is running. So that's it, guys. 
was, I thought it was going to be a little bit more complicated, but it went really easy, simple, but not because it's a simple process, it's because we prepare so we understand, understand what's happening. That's it, guys. See you next time.